Welcome back, everybody, to the Carolina Panthers franchise here on Madden 20. And if you see something different, yeah, we are no longer the owner in this. We are now a coach. Um, with the, you know, not being able to rebuild the stadium and getting those scenarios, I'm not even sure if you can get them as an owner. I think you might be able to, but I wasn't quite sure. I know you can get them as a coach. So I'd rather do a coach. Um, it's still the same franchise. Just made a little thing, did a little things here and there to make sure I could be the coach. And that's what we are. So we take on the Tampa Bay Bucks. Mike Evans is their only X Factor. And man, he could be scary. That is for sure. Especially with our secondary is somewhat weak. Hopefully we can shut him down. So this is a Thursday night game here. So we bust out the Color Rush Unis. But obviously the short week, it's going to be interesting to see if we can just turn right around. Luckily we got the home field advantage. Don't have to go on the road for this. But it is a division game, and these division games can be tough no matter what. So here we go in week number two. Kick is going to be in the back of the end zone. And Tampa Bay will start their offense at the 25-yard line. So Jameis Winston, pretty good week one, even though in a loss to San Francisco. Still three touchdowns, one interception, looking pretty good. As Winston trying to uh, get back in it and really, you know, show that he is that number one pick. But Eckler there with a the run absolutely going nowhere. Now second and 14, Winston trying to set up the screen there to Eckler. And that's going to be the former Buck, Gerald McCoy. He takes him down. Obviously had, really had interest from the Browns in the offseason. Ravens decides to stick in this division and try to get back at his old team. And then on third and 19, they're just going to get conservative. Throw that one to Perryman underneath. And that will be well short of the first down. So Tampa Bay is going to go three and out. And bring on the offense here with Cam Newton and company. Last week, oh, man, it was just Aaron Donald show just wrecking our world. So hopefully we don't have to deal with anything like that as Christian McCaffrey, who had a bit of a rough week against that Rams defense as well, gets off to a good start. And an even better start. He's off to the races 40, 35, makes a juke move down to the 35 yard line and just like that he just about has as many if not more yards than he, already had, than he had last week already here in just two carries so the offense looking a little bit better when you have to don't have to uh, deal with Aaron Donald third and ten dump this one off to Curtis Samuel and he has the speed to get up to the line even more up to the 23 yard line give himself a first down and we continue this drive here in this first quarter Another big third down here. Third and ten. Newton's going to scramble up the middle. Makes a juke move, and he's just going to be a tad short. Lamonte David just getting him short of the line to gain. But we are going to go for it here. Fourth and one. QB sneak, and Cam's got it through. Good job there. Up to the 13. First down. So now we're down to the 10. Second and seven. Hand off to Gaminaris. Payne, nothing really there. So we still can get a first down before uh, it's a goal-to-go situation. So third and six, Cam looking just a four-man rush. He's going to roll up by himself. Has plenty of room, and Newton is in for the touchdown. His first rushing touchdown of this season. Excellent start to this ball game. You can see how deep in the end zone they were zone coverage was. At least two to three yards, allowing Cam to just take off, get what he can get, and gets the touchdown. Seven-nothing lead. And let's see how this defense in Tampa Bay responds as they go to Mike Evans for the first catch of, his ball, of the ball game here. Just a tad short of the first, but now a third and six, and they'll pick up the first down to Perryman. That former first-round pick of the Ravens didn't really work out. Last year went to the Browns. Now with Tampa Bay trying to have a uh, resurgence of his career, that's for sure. Second and three, Tampa Bay moving the ball pretty well here. Is Eckler with the catch? First down up to the 38-yard line. And now Winston is going to find Perryman and miss coverage there. I'm not sure what just happened. I think Trey Boston may, might have went for the pick. We'll have to take a look at this. And he tried to swat it away. I don't know what that was, but Perryman undercuts it, catch it, catches it, touchdown. Tampa Bay answers just like that. And we're tied up at seven. So how will our offense respond to that? Didn't really have uh, anything like that last week. Really good performance against the Rams. So Tampa Bay stepping up, and that's going to be a terrible decision. Terrible throw. Picked off there. Juke move. Cam will they'll finally get him down at the 8. Not really the, the greatest read there, but it is picked off. And uh, now Tampa Bay 
has a chance to take a lead here. So they start this at the eight. Winston looking, trying to find something. Goes across and he has Chris Godwin for the touchdown. And Tampa Bay takes advantage of the interception. Just a little late there by Keekly, But Tampa Bay, just like that, it's a 14-7 ball game. And uh, we're down. Just like that, when everything was looking good, up to 7-0, good first drive. Good uh, first drive for the defense as well. But you get the turnover, and there you go. So 54 seconds left here in this first. And there goes McCaffrey off to the races. Can anybody catch him? They will. But he'll be down to the 29, and he has 71 yards already here in this first quarter. 33 yards on that one. Second run of the game already over 20 yards. And now we head into the second quarter where Cam's going to take off. Has plenty of room to run. One man to beat cannot beat him there. But we do. Just to get that X factor, we have to get three runs of 10. So that should at least be one. I don't know if they, we got one earlier. Just the one right there. I don't think that touchdown one was over 10. So Cam, second and nine. Looking around, he's just going to dump this one off to the fullback. And that's going to be a gain of four. Trying to answer that Tampa Bay touchdown. Third and five. Cam looking, and he finds Curtis Samuel coming across there in the middle for the touchdown. Excellent protection. Nice job with Cam stepping up in the pocket and uh, finding Samuel coming across the middle. We have a good game brewing here on Thursday night. Uh, that's not always the case sometimes with these Thursday night games. And we got it going here as Mike Evans cuts up. Ross Cockrell missed the uh, tackle there. Well, we got tie ball game, 14 all. Tampa Bay now up to the 50. Looks like they got their offense rolling here. As Winston underneath the Evans, he gets tackled, but still falls forward for an extra three to four yards. And he's up to the 40-yard line, just short of the first. But they're going to go wide here, five wide on third and inches. Winston looking, running out of time. Ball is loose. Can we pick it up? No. But we'll get the sack. Stop. I believe that was McCoy on the sack. Great coverage there by the defense on third and inches. Very surprised at the play call. Yeah, McCoy, sack, force, fumble. But we'll force the punt here. Yeah, I would think they would have ran it there. They Third and inches, you know, why not? Just, you know, I don't know. Unless you're going to really go for it. But what a punt there. Got us down to the two. So dangerous position here. Uh, and we'll get out of it right away. It's Jordan Scarlett with the carry. And he's got the first down and more up to the 13-yard line. Really want to see what this guy can do. Obviously, we got Artis Payne, who's a you know a serviceable backup. I'd really like to see what Scarlett can do, and uh, that's what you want to see for sure. As we'll dump it off to Greg Olson on third and seven, and that's where our drive will stall. So Tampa Bay will get good field position here after the punt. So that punt really helped them out. Second and ten here, that is going nowhere. So really, you can see maybe that's why they didn't run it on third and inches. We have absolutely stopped them running the ball, and yet to have a yard. And Winston up top, dangerous throw, and it should have been picked off. Oh, man. Should have been intercepted there. Two guys sitting there. Maybe they ran into each other and kind of messed each other up. But should have been a pick, but at least we get the ball right back in a punt. So now let's see if the offense can get something going. That's going to be, I believe, Samuel there with the catch. He's up to the 47 first down. So from the gun, Cam looking, has plenty of time to throw. Looking around, and he is going to lose the ball. The ball is loose. Picked up, and now, oh man, as I believe that Shaq Barrett with the with the uh, fumble recovery, he's running out of juice. Finally, Greg Olson is there to bring him down. Another mistake from Cam, and now Tampa Bay is in even better position to start this turnover drive. At the one, second and goal, they're going to try to go and end around to Godwin, and that is not going to work out at all as K1 Short is just sitting there waiting for him. And now third and goal here from the four, right before the two-minute warning. Winston looking, trying to find something. He's going to find his receiver, Eckler, short of the uh, the goal to go there. So Tampa Bay at least gets a field goal out of the uh, fumble recovery. But luckily for us, we stopped him to a field goal, and they were right there at about the two-yard line. We could have went in for the touchdown, but holding him to three, and now we have a chance to get points right before halftime. So good throw there by Campbell. First down. And then a wide open. Greg Olson down the seam. He's down to the 28-yard line. Give him 15. So at least uh, Cam coming right back at him and not allowing that turnover to you know kind of get into his head. So third and six. Now Cam's going to scramble again. This time slides down. Don't have to worry about the fumble there. We'll use a timeout. 
We got 15 seconds left here in the half. One timeout, second and two from the seven. Cam looking around, watch out, and he runs out of time. That's going to be a sack. We'll call the timeout. And I think we got about one play, but we got to be careful here. Don't want to get sacked, and then the time runs out. So Cam's just going to take this. He's going to scramble himself, has some room, but just kind of went away at the last second. Didn't want to be stuffed, and that's the half. So we at least get out of bounds. Take a field goal here. Tie this ball game up as we go into halftime. Kick is going to be up. It's going to be good. So there we go. Good drive to end the half after the two terrible turnovers here in this first half. Lead two points for the Bucks. But we got a 17-all game. Like I said, these division games, no matter what, are just going to be tough. They're going to be close. When both coaches and, and players know the, each other's tendencies, it's you know, you're not going to get away with anything. No surprises. So... You just got to beat them straight up pretty much, and that's what you get with these division games. You can see around the league, obviously, with the first game of the week. So we got Saints versus the Rams, so we'll have to see what happens there. We also got Eagles and Falcons, so a couple of division teams that we'll look forward to, obviously, playing the Bucks here. So uh, we'll have to take a look at those games after the end of the week. And here we go into the second half. So back to square one, all tied at 17. McCaffrey with the catch and just gets laid out by Levante David. And that's only, yeah, only about a gain of three. So third and seven. Cam looking. Goes underneath the Greg Olson. Turn that up, but he can't turn it up. Oh, man. You know what I wish they had? I wish they had an animation where guys either extended their arm or stuck the ball out to a first down. I would love that for uh, definitely end zone touchdown areas as well. I think that would just add so much to it. It would be definitely... You know, very realistic. I wish, I hope in the future they definitely can have that for sure. So Austin Eckler with a good run, and he has another good run here. So now Tampa Bay's decided to run the ball. They just pretty much gave up it in the first half. You can see as we went into halftime, the stats only one yard rushing, not here, as they've just come out just saying, hey, we're going to run this ball, and now going to throw, and that was a great throw there just in front of King Griffin. That was an excellent throw by Winston. Setting up a second and one, and they're going to play action. Winston pressure coming, and he goes down. That's K1 short with the sack. So we're getting a, uh, some good pressure this week. That's our second sack. Last week, it was a little hit or miss there getting to golf. I mean, every once in a while we brought it, but this week, a lot better. And Jameis Winston on third and eight, throws it up for Mike Evans, hoping he wouldn't go up and get it. But good coverage there by Bradbury. Knocks it away, actually, Evans. Playing some defense there, knocks it away from Bradbury so he doesn't get the pick. Force a Tampa Bay punt. And now on the offensive side of the ball. So we got a third and three here. Don't want to go three and out. Cam looking just a four-man rush. Looks over, has Torrey Smith, but he cannot come down with the grab. Incomplete. He drops that one. We go three and out. And now Tampa Bay with the ball. The handoff to Peyton Barber. So off Eckler. Uh, taking a seat here is Barber with the carry. He's up to the 20-yard line on the first down. So, yeah, Tampa Bay uh, finding some running room here in this second half. First and 10. Back to the ground game, and Keekly said, enough. Enough of this. Going to take care of this. Knocks him down there. That's a loss of one. So, 627 left in this third quarter, and we bring the heat. That's Shaq Thompson with the sack. A little bit of a river dance or something there. So it brings up a third and 18. They're not going to try anything. They're just going to dump it off the Barber. Keekly there to, for the tackle. So defense is coming alive here in this second half. Not just That first half was a little, you know, back and forth. Now the defense coming up. But we got Jordan Scarlett with the carry. And just when I was going to say the defense is, uh, we, we found something there. That doesn't happen. Absolutely laid out. I'm not sure who laid that hit. Scarlett fumbles. Barrett recovers his second fumble recovery of the ball game. And now Tampa Bay in prime position here. So they're going to go to Godwin to the outside. Picks up a first down up to the 31. Now Winston stepping up in the pocket. Looking. Throws it. Has Mike Evans with the catch. Down to the 12. I thought Winston was going to scramble there. But finds Evans. Still good coverage. Just a really good throw. Then up top. Keekly, I'm not sure if Keekly was that and knocked it away. But luckily, incomplete there. But on third and seven, they run a draw. Surprise play to Peyton Barber, and it works out in their favor. Picks up the first. 
Unbelievable. So Winston, second and goal, looking. He's going to go down. Brian Burns with the sack. The rookie comes through big there. And now third and goal from the 14. So Winston looking in the pocket. Somebody get to him. Oh, man. I thought I thought Mike Evans caught that. I thought it was going to be a pick at first, and the DB just didn't. Was that Eric Reed who kind of missed it? Luckily, Evans drops it. But Tampa Bay takes advantage once again. Has now a three-point lead, 20-17. to 17. And now, man, just absolutely gets laid out, this McCaffrey. But still, nice run. First down, over 100 yards for this ball game. And we're in this fourth quarter now, second and 10. Cam looking, trying to find something. He's going to run this himself, and he'll get out of bounds. Really close to the first. Just inches short. So third and inches back to the ground. And McCaffrey, plenty of room to run here. Bricks off a tackle, and he's up to the 29. So give him 11. Fantastic game for McCaffrey. Really been able to run the ball well against this Tampa Bay defense. So that is good to see. First and 10, Cam rolling out wide open is DJ Moore, and he's going to be tackled around the four-yard line. Down to the four. Let's see if we can take care of this, get this ball in the end zone, and take the lead here instead of, you know, kicking the field goal. But, man, what a play. Wide open. He was just wide open. Just couldn't make the move there to get the TD. So here we go. First and goal from the four. Cam, that's going to be a read option. He's going to take it himself. Ball is loose. But it is Curtis Samuel who picks it up. Oh, man. Cam got rocked. Ball comes loose. But Curtis Samuel is the man on the spot. He picks it up. And we're in for the score. Man, just the safety late all out the layout cam. But luckily, we, we get lucky there. And that is now the lead. 24-20, 8-42 left. What will Tampa Bay do? And what can our defense do? Can we slow down? Jameis here, and that's going to work out in our favor. Jakeem Griffin with the sack. Knocks him all the way back to the 39. He's had an excellent game. He has been all over the place. That is for sure. Doesn't always get as much playing time as I want playing in the nickel formation. Obviously going to have Shaq Thompson out there, but he has been very good. As that is a completion to Evans, and it's going to bring up a third and a four here. Winston underneath. That's going to be O.J. Howard catch. First down up to the 38-yard line. So just when you think you had it, you knock him back with a sack. Doesn't happen. Tampa Bay comes right back in two plays and gets the first. Third and inches. Another big third down. They're going to dump this one to Peyton Barber, who makes a move there and brought down at the 18. So Tampa Bay coming right back here at us, trying to take the lead right back. Third and two from the 10. Winston in the pocket, going to get rid of it. It's going to have, I believe that's what, Perryman maybe or Godwin um, underneath. Now uh, it's going to be Perryman with the catch. Down to the five, another first down, and here we go. First and five. Barber with the run, and he's going to be stopped short at the three. Third and goal. 327 left. Winston looking, trying to find something. He's going to go underneath the Peyton Barber, who is brought down. So that'll bring up a fourth and goal situation. I definitely think they're going to go, yeah, they're going to go for it. 2.59 left. Fourth and goal from the two. Can we get a stop? Winston looking, has it. That's going to be Mike Evans for the touchdown. That is the guy you need to double at least and cover. So Mike Evans with the touchdown. Tampa Bay comes up with a huge drive. Also wasting a lot of time. We have about 250 left. Cam and company have to do something here. Field goal will tie at least. So at least we got that in the bag. So first and 10. Cam looking. Watch out. And he's going to be brought down for the sack. Shaq Barrett brings him down. And uh, that's going to bring us close to the two-minute warning. We got at least one more play here. Second and 18. Cam looking. Going to go to the outside, finds Curtis Samuel, at least picks up something there to the 26. And here we go. Two minutes left in this ball game. We have a big third and 10 here from the 26. Cam looking. He's going to take this one himself. Has the first get down. He slides. Nice job. And he's up to the 40. He besides 100 yards rushing in this ball game. And with that, that's more than three rushes uh, over 10 yards. So he's in the zone now. So first and 10, Cam looking outside, catch, no, Samuel cannot hang on to it. Aye. At least the clock stops on that. 
So second and 10, Cam underneath. This time he's going to find Torrey Smith, who will get out of bounds. First down up to the 47, probably around 12, 15 yards away from field goal range. As Cam's going to take it, he's going to run over the defender up to the 35. So right there in field goal range, but obviously want to go for the win here in the uh, touchdown. First and 10 from the 35. Cam looking just a four-man rush. He's got McCaffrey with the catch down to the 15. Gain of 20. Huge play there. And now we can kind of waste a little bit of clock, run this down. And, uh, you know, Tampa Bay is going to have to use their timeouts if they want the ball back as Cam with a run. And he stopped at the six. I think we call a timeout there. So second and one, 24 seconds left. Week two coming down to the wire. Cam looking back into the end zone. And that's DJ Moore for the score. Coming up with a huge touchdown. What a drive from this Panthers offense. We take the lead here, 30-27. to 27. Outstanding. Cam Newton, you know, he had a bit of a rough first half. And he's come through big, though, and when you need him. These key drives down the stretch, he has been huge. DJ Moore with a perfect touch pass there for the touchdown. So we got the 30-27 to lead. Mike Evans cannot believe it. He is upset. And you can see now, on the extra point, I had no kicking meter. No kicking meter. So that one is completely offline. I don't know what happened. Maybe a little bit of a glitch. No kicking meter. Hopefully it doesn't screw us here because now all Tampa Bay needs is a field goal. So Winston, first and 10. He's just going to go up to Mike Evans. And it's picked off by Eric Reed. So that uh, glitch there with the kicking meter, not going to come back to bite us. Reed picks this one off. And that is your ball game. Week 2 victory. Wow, that was, a, that was an incredible game, actually. I really enjoyed that game. Great division battle. Coming out there at the end, Cam Newton with a game-winning drive. Outstanding week number two. I'll tell you what. So far, I am super happy with these sliders. The games are just back and forth. I never feel like I'm in control like I've always had in Madden's past. Even if I was down, I just felt like I was going to come back and win ball games and in these ball games even when you take the lead uh you know i i feel like they have a chance to come back to cpu and I, this is i gotta give it to this man here so far this so far the sliders and the gameplay have been I, i'm loving it so if you're on the fence about buying this game i know i'm not you know a reviewer or anything like that but from my opinion this game is well worth it it is fun. Obviously, I know they don't really have any improvements so far in franchise, but the gameplay for me is making this fun right just for two games. Um, that game alone was was so fun to play, and I really enjoyed it. And uh, for us, luckily, we come away with the victory, and Mike Evans throwing the helmet down. He was not too happy. I wouldn't be too happy either. That's, that's a tough one to swallow. And in my opinion, I'd almost rather get blown out that lose a game like that. They're just heartbreaking right at the end, especially when you only have 20 seconds left in the game and you lose it like that to a division rival. Ugh. I know it's only week two, but still, that's just tough. And uh, So after the game, though, we got Cam Newton with the skill point. We'll take that one. Um, I guess we'll just do the, the scheme fit, the strong arm. Let's see what he got here. He's going to have one throw deep, one throw mid, and one throw under pressure. So that's good. Uh, that goes up. Brian Burns, he's had a pretty good first couple games, couple sacks. He's getting some uh, tackles, so that's good to see. I think, you know, run stopper is the scheme fit, but just continue with the speed rusher. Uh, with two finesse, one play rec, and one tackle, so that is good. Kevin Seymour, backup corner. Uh, I guess we'll just go skill. I think most of these guys that are backups will just go for the scheme fit at the moment. So plus three in zone coverage. And then Javion Elliott. Yeah, I mean, he's still, he's a ski fit, so we can maybe go to the slot a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll get more. Yeah, that works out. We get more upgrades, awareness, hit power, man, coverage, tackle, and zone coverage there. So we head to week three, and we take on the Arizona Cardinals, our first road game. And that means we get to see the number one draft pick, Kyler Murray. So that is going to be uh, definitely pretty cool. That's going to be a different type of game style. You know he's going to be scrambling all over the place. So Kyler Murray, that is cool. We get to see him. So, so far in the first two games, five touchdowns, 
two picks. And yeah, the Sid rushing stats are definitely jacked up. I hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they can fix that uh, for guys like Murray, Jackson, guys like that. So uh, hopefully that works out. But that's going to do it for this one. We'll face Arizona next week. Solid victory here against Tampa Bay. So we're 2-0 to start off this young season. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.